here we've got two similar shapes. Similar shapes are two shapes of the same angles, but they're a different size. So one is an enlargement of the other one. Whenever we've got similar shapes, what we need to do is we need to find the scale factor. So what do you have to multiply one shape by? Or multiply the lengths by in one shape to get the lengths on the other shape. So if we look at these two shapes here, we can see that we know this bottom, bottom length for both of them. This one's 5 and this one's 10. So whenever we want to find the scale factor, just take the bigger one, which is 10. So scale factor equals, and it's the bigger one, divide by the smaller one. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. So to go from the little shape to the big shape, a times by 2, because that's the scale factor. And to go from the big shape back to the little shape, I do the opposite. The opposite of times in by 2 is dividing by 2. So now I'm able to find the missing lengths. So if I want to find this x here, that one goes with the 7. So the seven's the same one on this shape. So I do 7. So x is 7 times the scale factor, which is times 2. So that means x is 14. And I've got this y here, and that's the same side as the 6 on this one. So to find y, I do 6, and I go backwards, so I divide by 2, and that gives me 3. So x is 14, and y is 3. Okay, here's another example. So the first thing we're going to do is work out the scale factor. So we can see we've got this bottom length for both of the shapes. So to find the scale factor, I'm going to take the big one, which is 15, and divide it by the small one, which is 6. Then I'm going to simplify this. So they're both in the 3 times table. I've got 5 times 3 and 2 times 3. So the scale factor is 5 over 2 or 2.5. So either of those is fine. So to go from the little shape to the big shape, I'm going to times by 2.5. And to go from the big shape back to the little shape, it's divided by 2.5. And now let's find this x value. So x goes with this 8. That's the length from the same length on the bigger shape. So x is 8 times 2.5. So I've got two eights, which is 16, plus half an eight, which is four. So that's 20. 16 plus four is 20. And to find the y value, I need to do 30, divide by 2.5. Um, it might be easy to double them first. So it's 60 over 5, and 60 over 5 is 12, so 12 centimetres. Okay, pause the video and give this one a go. So the first thing we need to do is work out the scale factor. So see what the scale factor is. Again, we've got the 15 and 10, that's the same length from the small shape and the big shape. So we've got the big one divided by the small one, and that's 1.5. So 15 divided by 10 is 1.5. So to go from the little shape up to the big shape, I'm going to times by 1.5. And to go back, I do the opposite, which is divide by 1.5. Now we can work out x. So x is 8 times 1.5. 8 times 1.5. 1 8 is 8. Half an 8 is 4. So 1 and a half is 12. So it's 12 centimetres. And then to find the y, I need to get 9 and divide it by 1.5. So if I double these, it's 18 over 3. And 18 over 3 is 6. So it's 6 centimetres.